ASP is back again with more Marine Corps uniforms and equipment during World War II, and we're going to be covering on Marine Corps packs. Now, Joe, what do we have here? All right, Chris, this is the M1936 Army Field Pack. Yes, we're doing Marine Corps equipment. I was about to say. You're right, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we all know by 1941, the Marines really reissued just about everything preparing mm -hmm. for the war. But there were some leftover pieces, and this is one of them. It's pretty rare as far as collecting goes. Um, army packs, we have a big US right in the front, and they, they're pretty common, the army packs. Paratroopers were issued these, mm -hmm. um, officers, basically an officer's bag is what it is. And uh, so it's the M36 field bag. The army used them extensively, the Marines used them up until about 41, 42. And again, being the fact there's no US in the front, but there is, the USMC on the underflap. All right, it's a bit of it's a rubberized canvas. We can see it has a 42 mm -hmm. manufacturer date on there. Atlantic Product Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's just a backpack. It didn't integrate with the suspenders like the 41 field pack and, and haversack does. There's a small personal item pouch on the side, and it's a complete external pouch on the back side, which we'll mm -hmm. show later. It is held together by a button. Um, adjustable straps, and that's it. It was a simple yeah. bag. It, it was a again, it got away from the haversack that opened up with all straps and flaps, yeah. and they finally got to an actual bag where you could yeah. put stuff in. And it has dividers in it. These two dividers here with the C rack, uh, K ration boxes could fit right in them. So basically, there's four pouches in here, another one, another big one in the, in, on the underside, and a little one on the side. And it was mostly for, I mean, it, was, it was for the Personal items, clothing, yeah. you know, your, your uh, mess kit, your clean clothes, excuse me. And uh, that's the M36 field bag. Okay, and we this is one of the other variations that we have. Right yes, there are, we have several other, you know, you know, what we consider like officer's bags, more than the actual combat haversack, which we'll show later. Mm -hmm. All right, so one of the variations, and we'll show the next one next. Now this is a second variation okay. of the pack. The, so. the Marines wanted their own version, their own style of pack, so they got away from the 36 Army Field Pack. And this is what's called the Musette Bag. Um, again, issued to officers, you know, artillery, mortarmen, tank crews. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wasn't really frontline riflemen. And uh, they made a lot of adjustments to this bag from the field bag. First it came with shoulder pads, as you can see. Same, it's the same basic size. You see, it retained the, the small personal items pouch on the, on the on the left side. The same buckle snap down the front. Again, unlike army equipment, which usually marks U.S. on the front, USMC on the inside. The main manufacturer. This, this is a pretty common one for collecting. Goes you can find it pretty much anywhere. They're all manufactured by the Boyd Manufacturing Company, and a lot of them are dated 43, 44, 45. This one's 44. Again, all sorts of internal pockets. Mm -hmm. So that kind of stays the same. These are what are called dog ears. They call them dog flap ears. You fold these in, it helps seal it up a little better. Uh, the nice thing about these bags are, it could be worn like a backpack. It could also be worn like a shoulder bag by simply pulling the flap. And over the shoulder. And it was adjustable. See? This one probably was never issued. It's in pretty good shape. Again, usually find the name stamp within the summer or something. You don't know, on this particular one. And uh, that's the Musette bag. And then we'll show you another one. This is uh, the same bag. You see how it's all whited out? It's obviously been there and done that. Same design, slightly different manufacturer. It's made by Fro S, S. Froelich. Contract date 1943. Uh, what's really cool about this one, as you can see, it has it has the invasion markings and the man's name on it. He was in the Pioneer Battalion of the Fourth Division, mm -hmm. Company ABC. He was a sergeant, and his name was J. W. Willingham. And you can see this has been there and and back. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a really cool piece. I like things that are unit mark. If you notice over all the throughout the series and even in the further series, a lot of the pieces are marked to the 4th Division, 
the fourth division marked their equipment a lot more than any of the other divisions did. So even in collecting, the majority of things you're going to find are fourth division marked. Mm -hmm. And all of these packs, even from the beginning, are authentic and not reproduction. So don't oh, yeah. say don't say that's a reproduction. But oh, yeah. I have reproduction. You can tell yeah. a difference. But these these are all these three are all real. All right. All right.